Hey, this is Janelle, the relationship coach behind The Successful Invisible. And this dating tip came up for me through a combination of recent client coaching sessions, as well as just talking to some of my girls and chatting with my sister. And it's related to basically a lot of the noise that we hear out here on, you know, social media and in mainstream media. And it's a mix between things that are happening in politics, things that are happening with women's rights, social movements occurring, et cetera, where you're getting a lot of men who have feedback on what women should be doing, how they should be living their lives and the choices they should make, et cetera. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that rhetoric is really out there. And in having discussions with friends, my sister, family, et cetera, and then working with clients during coaching sessions and then bringing some of those same points up, I recognize that much of the feedback, quote unquote, or criticisms that are launched or aimed toward women as a collective, when you really think about them or unpack them, 95% of them, that's just my (laughs) non-scientific estimation of them, 95% of them are projection or deflection. So that is the dating tip for today. Ladies, when you are out and you're actively engaged with someone and you think that this guy may, you know, have potential to be more and he has any criticisms of women or criticisms of, you know, things going on in the broader environment that directly impact women, really listen. And if you're actually interested in him, you can challenge him in a, and I don't mean in an acrimonious manner, but you can have a discussion because we like intelligence over here and emotional intelligence and intellectual intelligence as well. We want someone intelligent that can take us challenging their stance on something in a respectful way, of course. So really dig deep to see if what they're saying is a criticism towards women, probably as a collective, based on social things going on. Is it actual, like, what is their basis of this? Or is it projection or deflection? Many times when you start asking questions and pull the thread and unravel things, you will realize, as will they, through your debate and discussion, that many of the criticisms in mainstream media towards women and about women from men are deflection or projection. What are some examples? In the incel red pill manosphere, yes, I lump them together, you know, arena, it's about how much women care about looks and if men don't look a certain way that, you know, they're not being selected. In truth, that is projection Because men put such a great value on physical appearance. Not to say that women don't. Women, however, have been socialized to be a lot more thoughtful between the Disney movies that have brainwashed us and other expectations that have been put on us culturally, and that's going to be different for different cultures, about accepting men's mediocrity or accepting men who are less than we are We do not, by default, put as much of an emphasis on looks. So when men have that criticism, they are projecting. Another thing that you often hear is, especially in the black community, where you'll have black men who are critical of black women saying they're not impressed by a woman's education. Well, number one, no woman is getting educated to to impress a man. She's doing that for her own forward trajectory and movement in her career. The second thing is that criticism comes from a point of deflection because a large majority, if not all of the men who criticize a woman on going forward on her uh, path towards education, etc., and he's criticizing her and talking bad about her, he's probably not educated past high school. It's deflection. So keep this in mind. Every time a talking head (laughs) in the manosphere space, or every time even you're in a discussion with a man, family member, whomever, someone you're dating, that's a male who has a criticism 
towards women as a collective, challenge them and unpack it. And I believe a large percentage of the time you will be able to pinpoint and show to them that their criticism is a projection of their own bad behavior or deflection uh, about something they haven't done or haven't accomplished. Just keep that in mind. Most criticism, in my opinion, 95 plus percent of criticism that men laud toward women is deflection or projection.